Hello and welcome to week 105 of the vlog, I think. It's been a while since I've actually welcomed you like that. I'm sorry, the vlog's been a bit disorientated recently and that is no fault other than my own. Um, I'm home, I'm currently unpacking my big fat sleepover bag, putting everything away before I sit down because once I sit down, that, that stuff's not getting repacked or unpacked whatever you want to call it um yeah so this is literally it it's about seven o'clock i think gone seven now dinner and then the chris and rosie ramsey show is on so that's my evening obviously i'm in the office tomorrow so i've just been to the supermarket and uh, got some bits and bobs i don't know if i talked to you about this i think i did my little calendar and i'm doing quite well on it to be fair so yeah oh wait let's cross that off i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow before work because i got to i got to otherwise i'm gonna regret it um but yeah that's uh, iconic Hi. iconic it's the club! Why can't it just feel like this all the time? It's literally stunning. Now I'm just gonna sit in the kitchen vibe to my heart's desire while editing and I'm finishing up the vlog it's Tuesday so I'm late I'm sorry I'm sorry um but yeah it's, uh, it shouldn't take me too long at all <sighs> I had a good day at work it's Tuesday it's threw me off a little I don't normally go into the office on Tuesday I randomly watched out my time of the movie last night this lighting so good. Workout was good this morning. Although, I don't know how, I ended up making my first self feel very dizzy at the end of it. By the time I got home, I had to pop some paracetamols. Paracetamols are proven with uh, some painkillers. Because I get myself a headache. But yeah, I'm just trying now. I'm just running my channel. I don't know what I'm doing. Can't believe it's June next week. Sorry, when did that happen? June? Excuse me. It's the time again. So I thought I'd give you a little ebook journey update. Also, how light is it? It's 16 minutes past nine. I'm not going to get used to this. I'm going to continue to say this all the time. Anyway, um, what is what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to give you a little ebook update. So I have never really liked reading ebooks. I don't know why I just like the physical book, holding it, physically seeing the process as I get through. Like an ebook just used to feel like a never ending thing for me. Um, because you couldn't physically see like the chunks of pages going down as you read it. But the other a few weeks ago I went through NetGalley and like just requested a load of books. Apparently I shouldn't have done as well because like if you don't review them or read them or whatever it can affect your scoring. Didn't know that. Oops. Yeah, so I went through NetGalley and ordered a load of books. And obviously they all came through an ebook format. So I was like, well, can't just waste them now because all these books sound so good. So what I have done, I just started to read them. Now I've only been reading them on my phone because don't have a kindle like i might actually get a kindle now i didn't want to buy one if i didn't like e reading ebooks but i think i've discovered that i do like reading ebooks and i think i'm gonna get one because you can link your netgalley account to your um, kindle account um but yeah i think obviously it'll depend on the book that i'm reading and if i really like it i'll probably end up buying a physical copy too which is annoying that you can't like buy a physical copy and then scan a qr code and get an ebook copy um but yeah so i finished reading herrick's end like yesterday or the day before um i'm gonna leave the link in the bio the description even i'm gonna leave the link in the description 
so you can check it out i can't link it on bookshop.org because it's not on there yet so i'll link like the goodreads account or maybe like amazon where you can pre-order it but yeah it was it was quite a good book actually it was really different to kind of what i'd read before the the whole concept is basically like there's this underground world like literally underground magical world where people can low-key seek revenge on those that are wrong with them so the the theme a very big theme of the book is domestic abuse um and just kind of bodily violations and so on and so forth so um if that triggers you or you know it's not something you want to read about then probably not the book for you but the way that it was phrased and the way that it was put together was very nuanced and very thoughtful and just interesting um yeah so the whole concept was new to anything that i'd ever read before i'd never read anything as that with that as a main trope yeah the world building itself was really good the language was really easy to follow and the pace was quite consistent so the beginning it was a bit dry and a bit slow and i don't know if that's just because you know it's the beginning and then it just really evened out and nice rhythm from the middle um and then it got to the end and it really picked up and it was really good and i got through it kind of like in no time really like kelly gave it three out of five i need to be harsher with when i rate books because i just kind of tend to give all books that i think oh yeah i like that like five but no i need to stop so this is an ode to myself to stop doing that with my books but yeah anyway so the next book i am reading also can we just appreciate uh I think Deepika Padukone, I don't know how you say her last name, but she is literally an icon. Look at her. Look at her. She's just incredible. I've decided I'm going to cut my hair short because she has short hair and it looks absolutely stunning on her. Oh my god, I just discovered this summer edit by this girl. I need to look at it anyway. But the book that I'm reading at the minute is A Darkness at the Door by... Um, I have to go all the way back to the top. Bye. Intazar Kahani, I think. Kahana, Kahani, I think. Sorry if I butchered your name. Um, I tried. Um, yeah, so I am currently reading that one. It is. Uh, here is my net galley. And it is this one right here. So that's what I'm currently reading. <laughs> e <laughs> um, lunch time. Twenty past. Twenty past. Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> right, it's twenty past one on my lunch. We have triple six triple chili pork sausages. Um, that I'm gonna have for lunch today. Not all six, obviously. I think that uh, too. And I'm gonna have like a sausage, spicy sausage wrap the plan with some salad a bit of cheese a bit of mayo just trying out alternative recipes yeah um so yeah let's do it i'm gonna put them in the oven because it just makes it so i don't i don't smell and i also am gonna track it because you know still trying to be healthy even though i track my stuff like i uh I don't do it like religiously, I just do it so it gives me a good idea. Change your mind. I'm gonna have some couscous with it instead. These sausages smell delightful. So I'm gonna have some couscous and some salad with those sausages. I can just take away this gross salad. Change your mind and we ended up with this. Check me out, recording a video. Who is she? Just did a review. Currently watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Um, it's very interesting. It's not like Suits at all. Not like Suits. Um, and even though it's so boring, I just can't help myself. Sorry, I'm unplugging my plug now. I just can't help myself. Like, it's just so interesting, even though it's so boring. Does that make sense? I'm just going to sit in bed and, and watch the trial. 
house. Don't know. I don't even know if it recorded. I did not. Right, we're making a snack. Getting some yogurt. 